appear, that means that all these people were deceived for so many years. It does not change that fact. Incorrect. You Incorrect. Let me explain people. to you. Not all people believe Christ was God. Not all people believe Christ was, you know, someone what who's... A uh, no, 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 no. The Quran highlights key important life events of Christ. His crucifixion, his so-called deityship, yeah, or being a son of God and so on and so forth. Historically, when you go and look into what people believe, people didn't believe what you think the Orthodox people believe. The people who believe in two gods and they were Christians. You've read Bart Ehrman's book, I heard you say, talking about Bart Ehrman. Have you read, have you read, have you read his book called Lost Christianities? I haven't actually read any of his books, I just heard about right. a thing I mentioned now, I think it was a quote that he said. That's what so I read his book Lost Christianities, because you're familiar with Bart Ehrman as a scholar, agnostic scholar, and he will tell you how there were so many Christianities, there was no Orthodox Christianity until much later. So all this proto-Orthodox and, you know, Heterodox Christianities, they are divergent in their views about who Christ is. Whether there's one God, two gods, three gods, and all this multitude of belief system in terms of who the person of Christ is. So, were there people, they, or they themselves deceived? Were the Jewish people deceived that he was not the Messiah for all these years until today? Did God deceive them? It's a possibility. Did God deceive J Jewish people that God sent his own son, also God, and he deceived the Jewish people till today? In thinking that he's not? I don't know. I don't know exactly if these Gnostic groups are correct. Jewish the people today, are. do they believe Jesus is God? They don't even believe Jesus is a prophet. Now, do they so believe I he's believe God? Would, I believe he is God, yes. Do the Jewish people today, in their majority, believe Jesus is God? No, they don't believe in him. Right. So God deceived them? So God deceived According to your logic, your consistent logic, because you have to be consistent and applied on all, okay. all broad, were they deceived by God? when they didn't want to follow him. A lot of them did, it says in the Bible. But a I'm lot not talking about those who did. Do. I'm talking about those who don't. A majority of them. Millions of them. Were they deceived by God, according to your logic? I don't know. And I need to but if you're going to apply logical, logical standards and saying, because the Quran makes it that it appeared to them so the Quran is deceiving and until 600 years later, God deceived them. I'm saying, you apply that logic throughout for all people and you will see that you have a logical principle in which God deceived the Jewish people all of them apart from few individuals who called the Messianic Jews who accepted him so if you consider that God deceived then you believe God is a deceiver I think the problem is, is that it wasn't all the Jews who saw uh, Jesus rise from the dead it was only a handful that became Christians so is the belief in Christ's deityship yeah. Dependent on people seeing him. Yeah, they need the evidence to know he was the Messiah. Is it dependent on people seeing him crucified? Uh, is it dependent on, not exactly. But exactly not, example. because Paul didn't meet him. Yeah. Yeah, but you take well, the words of he Paul. He had a vision of him, though. But it, his look, look, it's a dream. Yeah. Vision is not a physical seeing. So, applying consistency again. But you could say both were. Some could say that basically all the people who saw Jesus rise from the dead was a delusion, and some could use that logic to apply to Paul too. No, I'm saying yeah. if you apply a standard in which people have to see, because you're saying some people only saw what Jesus went through and they believed in him, and those who did not, that's why they didn't believe. If that was the case, then you should say, like all the other people who didn't see Jesus, why, why would they believe or not believe? It doesn't make sense. So I'm coming back to you again. You have to come back to an, a, a common agreement in our discussion here. Do you agree that God deceived, in your understanding, the Jewish people in, in making them believe that Jesus was not God? In making them believe, I have no idea. Yeah, okay. No problem. Then equally, equally, we should say about... Which God? Equally, could say about... Because our God will never say that. Sorry, Master. Sorry. I don't believe... Allah necessarily, or basically, what, what I think this has changed because you said Allah didn't actually make it appear so. My original belief was Allah basically just made it seem as if Jesus was crucified to save him, which I think was the right thing to do. But you're going against the text. We have to have our interpretation pinned on the textual aspect of this event. If the text doesn't support our view, we cannot say this is what the Quranic text says. 
the Quranic text doesn't say God is deceiving them and making it appear. It simply says it appeared to them so. If it appears to you over there, this person is the Prince of Uganda, it's your fault. God is not making that appearance. Mansoor. Do you understand? Uh, we understand, if I may interject. Yes, you're very right in this. But I believe if you go lower down, it says, but they, makar, right? The word makar is used. Where, it, where is it used? They, they plan, but yeah. Allah plan is the best of planners. What's wrong with being God being the best of planners? Do you disagree with Yeah, but in context, it's, it's deceiving. No. In, if you're rich, of course because not. they deceive, no. and Allah is the best of, of, of course not. So if they are planning, but so what is the plan is okay. because it's, it's, it's in conjunction with made it appear. You understand? It comes right after it, so they're connected. Where? Where, it where, says, does, where does it appear like after this? It says, after it says, it made it appear to them as if it was Jesus, it says, because they plan or deceive how you would want you to mind, put it. Would you mind showing that? Let's have a look. They plan, let's but God planned also that God is the best of planners. Okay. It's well, right after it. Let's, let's have a look. Can you and then bring this, because I don't know exactly what's right. It's, but I've read it before, I apologize. Which one give you a mic? It's the short one. Yeah. Um, the, the, he can, can bring, bring it up, bring he can up. bring it up. But I want to talk about this address. If someone is making a plan against a messenger, yeah, yeah. the way to God, for God, to thwart, to prevent, to dismantle this plan is by what? To get rid of this plan. So, if you call that deception, then you have very low estimation of God. No, no, no. God, you have to read no, the context, no, let me, right? let me, let me explain go to on, you. Right. Someone is planning to kill a messenger of God. That's their plan. Okay. God's plan is to overthrow this plan. Is that overthrowing plan a deception? In the way you put it, no. Exactly. But so if God, you read, uh, uh, was it Surah Al-Mariam? Which one was it? Why, why does it say that? No, this is what you're talking about. So where does it say what you're talking about? Yeah. So while he's, while he's finding, yeah. so you talked about it one aspect. Meant to appear, that's right. While even though we're we are talking about the crucifixion, crucifixion. historically we know there are many Christians didn't believe in crucifixion, which you're going to go and search about it. I've given you the name of two church fathers. I've given you the book by Bert Ehrman to read about the lost Christianities and you're going to expand to learn about the historical event about this issue and the people who believe not in the crucifixion of Jesus before Islam. Islam didn't introduce anything, this was the reality and people documented it and church fathers were so concerned they had to write that the, be aware, be careful about these people, they're heretics. You don't write something when if it's not prominent it's within the community, boxes. nothing to be worried about. So the belief was white, white, well spread, widespread, well known. The church fathers was really concerned that if this continues, then we will have probably the, perhaps the majority of the Christians will not believe in the physical crucifixion of Jesus. Yeah, that's why they were writing against heretical sects. So is there anything else in the Islamic theology, in the Islamic teaching, that you think you have a major obstacle in accepting Islam? Not off the top of my head, but that doesn't mean that. Uh, not that I can think of I now. I don't remember I'm exactly. Because to, I made notes and stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Do you don't mind, but thank you for this discussion. Uh, it's probably been none of the most thought provoking ones for me. Thank you. Take care, take care. Did you get your answer?